Hello, my name is Dr. Jerry Mendez, and today I'm going to take you through what a subluxation is in layman's terms. And I'm going to start by showing you this motor unit here. We have uh, two bones and the disc in between. What we're going to be focusing on is in between those discs, in between the two bones, you have the disc, you have nerve, spinal cord, and nerve. So I'm going to draw that out. Not necessarily to scale, but just trying to get the point across. So we have the disc here. We have nucleus propulsus here, and you have the annular fibers on the outside there. And what I'm going to try to explain is the process of how subluxation comes about and its effects and what we can do about it as chiropractors. So basically when you have a problem in your spine, typically it's going to be inflammation or nerve pressure and it comes from inflammation on the disc. I like to explain it in five levels, four, five. At level four or five, you're going to have pain. And if left alone, typically what will happen is it will go down to level 3 when you're having good days and it will go back down to 4 and 5 when you're having bad days. So this level can go up and down, putting pressure on the nerve as you can see there. Uh, when there's pressure on the nerve, um, this is not happening outside like this may indicate. So here you can see it's red and it seems like it's separate and distinct from the disc, but it's actually this wall, the outside wall of the disc is actually being stretched out. So every time the, there's an inflammatory process, this wall gets stretched out, it's going to weaken this path. So a little bit of this gel-like substance, the nucleus propulsus, will start seeping out towards the weakened area. This is considered a bulge. And that bulge will hold true all the way to this area. Uh, or if it goes further, it progresses and it makes it outside, and then you consider it a herniation. Now, I can't tell you whether you have a bulge or a herniation with the x-rays you take. However, uh, even if you went and got an MRI to, to diagnose this, uh, it just simply means you need more of the care that we're providing. All right? Now, this inflammation, what it does, it comes in to heal and repair. So what it's gonna do is gonna take broken tissue, uh, remove it and lay down new uh, tissue known as scar tissue to replace that broken tissue. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna draw it on this right side, but it's actually happening right here where the inflammation is, okay? It's very messy, so I just wanna separate it. So that would be your scar tissue. It's like a blob of spaghetti, non-specific, non-functional tissue. So whether you injure your heart, your lung, your skin, your disc, it's all the same stuff. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to take this and kind of remodel it, give it better function, better form. Um, so we want to, by stretching this out with a chiropractic adjustment, we're able to kind of um, remold it in a sense because we're going to be stretching it, uh, breaking that scar tissue, more inflammation is going to come in, clean up that broken scar tissue, remove it, and new fresh scar tissue, there will be more motion, everything is going to be stretched out in a better fashion. So I want the, the fibers to kind of get more in an orientation of a spring-like. Uh, this is what it used to look like. Uh, nice organized. We'll never get it to look like this, but this has a better action at pumping this inflammation out. Okay. Now, I'm going to extend this nerve here that we said had pressure on it. And we're going to be looking down a nerve like so. Okay. And I'll take this same nerve and I'm going to kind of blow it up here to explain it even further. So we're going to say give or take, this is about 10% of a nerve. Okay, so we were talking about different levels of inflammation here. Uh, I broke it down to five levels. So uh, the point I'm trying to get across is these are levels of inflammation. It's not until the nerve uh, is touched by the inflammation at the pain fibers that you're ever going to know there's a problem. So if you came in and you feel so much better after a couple of visits, it doesn't mean the problem is gone. It simply means you have less inflammation, less levels of inflammation, but the problem is still present. It takes time to go further and further down in the levels of inflammation. Uh, and this is not, um, doesn't hold true 100% of the time. 
you know, people that have low tolerance of pain, their 10% pain fibers may be there. Somebody who has a high uh, tolerance of pain, their pain fibers may be over here, okay? Uh, so back to the uh, pressure on the nerve, depending where this nerve goes, let's say you came in with neck pain, that may go to your hands, it may go to your heart, it may go to your lungs. If it's low back, it may go to your foot, it may go to your digestive system. So wherever this nerve goes, these areas are going to be compromised. All right. I hope this uh, was informative. And uh, the message I want to get across to you is that this is going to put inflammation or pressure on the nerve. That nerve is going to go to your organs and it's going to cause uh, not just pain, but dysfunction of your organs affecting your whole um, health as a whole. Thank you.